M0FXB, welcome to my channel. Looking at the OpenGD77 firmware, software, CPS, ETC. And I just like to do things in small bits. So this part is just to download and install some of the drivers and the CPS. And then we'll probably look at the actual CPS as well. So click, I'll put the link in the description. Click the one with the newest date, OpenGD77 CPS installer. Click that. You'll get this. Keep it. I have already run this, so let's, it might... Tell me I've already done it. So you get this window here. Click more info and then run anyway. Click yes. And then just follow this through. It's quite quick. I'm just going to click yes because it, so you can see it doing it. And then it creates a shortcut. Launch. And you get this window. We'll just minimize this. This one's the CPS. The programming software for the... I'm going to be using the Anytone... So, uh, sorry, the RT3S. And look, if you look above here, it's got this black window here. Extracting driver files, success, installing drivers. So that's what you need to uh, run this process. Now remember, this is just a short section of the whole process, and I'm just learning step by step. So once it's done that, we're, well, it's done that by the looks of it, we're going to have a quick look at the actual CPS. So what is Open Seven Open GD77 software? Well, it changes how the, op, the RT3S and many other radios, a selection of those radios are the GD77, the dm 1801 a and A, RD5R, that's the Bofung, MD9600, otherwise known as the RT90, that's like a base station one, and the MDUV380 classic radio, or the RT3S, and this is the dual band model, not the simplex model. So let's move over to the programming software it looks to me very very similar to what I'm used to seeing with my MD380 now my my RT3S is in, is in the post and will be arriving in two days and then we're gonna uh, you know convert that to the open GD 77 firmware but let's just start off with the basics so they do recommend write the code plug from scratch so let's do that so DMR ID let's put in here my call sign We've clipped up here at the top DMR ID, a call sign, and then DMR number 2341423. Please don't use my one. 2341437. Two, okay. Click out of that. Next thing we're going to do is look at contacts. Digital contacts are basically the talk groups that you can use. Now you can import hundreds of these, but if we're doing it from scratch, I just like to just use the ones. That I actually use rather than just have hundreds there it's just a lot easier to program so let's um, add one so we'll click add and we'll add one of my favorites which is chat chat DMR I call it and that is 2350 2350 it's a group call group call is generally what you'll be using private call used for calling someone directly or certain commands um, so that will click OK. Just trying to see where the um, time, whether we choose slot. Can't see whether we choosing a slot there. One sec. You go back into it, and then it's here. Look, so it says disabled. We're just going to put slot two. Okay. Some channels are on slot two. Some on slot one. It's good because you can. Say you say you were talking on I don't know talk group ninety one here, which is on slot one, and you want to disconnect from your repeater. You can use slot two, and you probably need to have a duplex hotspot to do that. Let's put that on a slot. So you click the beginning bit here to bring bring back the window. Double click it, and then we just go slot one. There you go. So you get the idea. That's how you add contacts. So we're basically adding talk groups that we eventually are going to need because when you create a channel, you have to select a talk group. So you, there's hundreds here. Now we're going to go to channels. Some channels have already been created, but we're going to click down here. This channel is one channel that's been created. So let's add my hotspot first. So we'll click add. And we've got a new window here. And my hotspot is digital. Channel name. So we'll call it hotspot one. Most people these days have several hotspots. Uh, receive frequency. So it's 431.550, TX frequency, you just click that right and it goes across, 
like so. Try and get the whole window in. Got some selections here, scan, zone, skip, all skip, vox, rx only. I'm not gonna select anything like that at the moment. Talk group list. I'm gonna select Brandmeister, color code, tend to use two. Actually, no, one, one, that's correct. Contact, this is where we can select the contact, so we'll just choose uh, talk group 91 for now. But nine is quite a good one to select because you, if you choose nine, then you'll be, uh, be able to manual dial easier. Repeater slot, and generally I, I use two. And then radio ID, so let's put that in, two, three, four, one, four, three, seven. Okay. So that's one channel created. Let's add a analog channel. So we're gonna go add, and we're gonna analog, and we're gonna add GB3. W R, which is one four five one four five dot six hundred. How many noughts do they like? Let's push it across there. That worked. There's four noughts I put there. Oh yeah, I didn't select power level, did we? So let's just do one more. And same with the other. Oh, and timeout. That is important. So we'll go. We'll do two seventy. Sounds quite good. Everything else now. We need our tone. TX tone is which is on that repeater is 94.8. Open GD squelch level. Choose. I'll have to test that. We're not. We don't need a received tone, but you could select a received tone. Uh, the frequency on the TX will be 600 shift. So let's just put a naught there. So what you don't have shifts like you do on on ordinary radios. You have to actually type it in with DMR code plugs. Leave all that like that for now. Okay, yep, so we've got GB3WR. I just go back into the digital one and do the timeout, which we've done. Basically, after you, if you're speaking for too long, it will tell you and stop you speaking. So color code, squelch, talk group list, Brown Meister, digital, yeah, so that's a hotspot in and a repeater. You get the idea now. It looks like you can import and export. You can clear, you can add. So that's to me, that's the basics of setting up a few channels. When I've actually got the radio, I'll do this and then we'll actually test it. So you can rename the channels here. Look, right click, rename. Just by right clicking, copy and you, yeah, you can definitely copy and paste. Copy. So we'll right, we'll click add on the actual channel. We'll click add. Okay, add a channel. Then we'll right click on the, a channel we've got. Click copy. Then we'll go over the channel that we want to copy to. And we'll right click and we'll go paste. See that is the same channel. It's a lot quicker that way because you've got all the info. You're just changing the name and choosing a different contact. So then we, so let's call that one, let's rename it to, call it chat one, chat one. Okay, and then all we've got to do is choose a different talk group. Or should I say contact? So we'll go here, it says contact. We're gonna choose chat one, chat one's not there. So all we do is go back to our contact list which is here, so contact list, digital contacts at the top, add, we're gonna call it chat one, and the number of that one is 2351, group calls fine, repeater slot, let's do two again, so that's fine, we've got that, and then we can go back to our channel, click contact, and then we've got chat one now. So now this is two, three, five, one, or chat one. And that's how you quickly add channels. Now we wanna create zones. Now let's put our channels into zones so we can find them easy. So go to the zone tab here on the left, it says zones. Right click and click add. And we're gonna do, let's put three in there, add. Now we can double click the zone. And here we can name it. So the first one we're gonna put 
analog repeater. So analog Let's see if it will fit. That'll do. And then we're going to put in there just GB3WR because that is an analog repeater. Now you do have to have at least one channel in, otherwise it won't work, but we've got one there already. So we're going to click add. So that sends it across you. Now, if you think about zones like buckets of channels on the left here, and then you're choosing the channels here. And if you could have 100 channels listed here, every channel you create is going to be listed here. And then you click it across. Imagine this is a right, a right, a right arrow here where it says add. You're sending it into your zone. So this zone is like a bucket of channels. And so that channel is going to only contain because we've chosen analog repeaters. Okay, so we can just keep that as our analog repeater zone, and it renames it there. Look, now zone two. Let's call that our hotspots. And we do have several hotspots here, like the open spot uh, three and the uh, jumbo hotspots, DB Mega. So we've got all kinds. So we'll call that hotspots, and we'll choose one of our hotspots, and we'll click add. So that's now gone into our zone. And let's use one more zone. So double click zone and let's call this our 70 centimeter channels. Channels. And then we'll actually let's create a 70 centimeter channel. So we've got the zone. Let's go back to channels. Channels are just underneath here. Double click. Back to our channels and then we'll click add. This time we're gonna we'll do a uh, an analog repeater. So we'll leave that as analog, and we'll do I think it's GB three FI. So four three zero dot eight two five. Click it across, and I think when it when you key the mic on that, it does plus shift it to four three eight dot five two five. So that's just shifting. Five two five. We're going to name it GB three FI. Analog power level. Choose what you want. Timeout. There you go. Plenty of timeout. TX tone is seventy seven on that one. So there you are. There's a seventy centimeter one. I don't think I've missed anything there. Okay, and it's analog channel click out and let's just go back to zone 70 sems I mean it could be a repeater couldn't it so you could put that in 70 sems and you can actually also put it if you want go back to uh, repeaters you can find GB3FO and you could add that in as well you get the idea so what you do when you've actually got, got the radio in your hand and you're scrolling up and down the zones. I know it will work slightly differently with the GD77, but you're scrolling up and down the zones. And the arrows, as far as I've seen after watching a video, it looks like the, the middle knob here, the channel knob, is your right and left. And then the, these are your up and down arrows. So anyway, when you're going up and down the different zones, see it says zone at the bottom on the traditional system. Inside are your channels, but obviously it's going to look completely different with GD77. Looks like you've got talk group lists here as well. This is the part where I'm not actually sure what to do. But I am learning, this is a learning video. So overall, I think that's it. You've got DTMF settings there. Let's have a look what else we've got. Call sign, boot screen. You can change the boot screen look. Band limits. Contacts, Let's have a look at the settings here. DMRID, band limits, DTF contacts, TG list zones, you've got shortcuts there. Pro read, read and write to radio, radio type. We're going to be using the MD380, so let's click that. This is RT3S, extras language, about. So this code plug has been designed to work with the firmware. Firmware loader, let's have a look at this. Firmware loader, select open firmware file and update. So we can update quite easily and it will be the MD380. Select official firmware donor. I've noticed that when they do that, they select 
the 9600 uh, because it's the same basically and it just works so that's interesting that you have to do it that way and there's a video on that as well I will have when I do it I will make a video so as far as I can see that code plug is going to get you the give you the basics so then you just go program make sure you've got your, your lead connected to the radio and the correct USB driver and then write write it and so I will be providing some links here. You've got the Open GD77 user guide here. There's lots of information here and links that you can use. You've got the forum here, very nice. And I've clicked this section here. That's the radio that I've got coming. Then you've got this section here, which I'm pretty sure is the same as the other one. So all the links I've got, I will provide. I think there's a shortcut here for the latest installer as well. All these links will be in this video. There is also a Facebook group. Remember that the Open GD77 isn't just for the GD77. It works on different models as well. Thanks for watching my channel. Catch you on air, 7-3, all the best. Please uh, subscribe or like if you're finding this helpful.